Yes, guys, welcome to the to a uh, preview of Chelsea away to Milan in the Champions League. A huge game for the Blues. A uh, a very big a very big test here with a team that are actually um, doing alright in Italy, but didn't do well against us at the Bridge. It's a different game now. We've got to go to our own patch. We've got to try and uh, put put a performance in. That's going to be a very very tough game with the atmosphere as well. And, um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I feel like it's going to be a very, very hard-fought uh, game. And then it's just going to be whoever takes the chances, really. And I feel like, um, hopefully, Chelsea will have the upper edge. Just, I think, um, we've got to try and keep strong defensively. And we've got to try and uh, create enough going forward. I feel like we've been playing quite well lately as well. So, if we carry on playing the way we have been, I feel like we'll be good enough to win. But I feel... And so it could be quite difficult to beat Milan um, at their place. I'm going for a two-one Chelsea win with a uh, with my lineup being Kepa in goal because he's just got a key on Tin Hugo and he hasn't done anything wrong so far. He's saved a lot of the uh, chances or the very few chances that he's had up against them lately because uh, Chelsea been on top defensively. Hopefully again tonight and uh, obviously we'll have a back three. I think this time with. Uh, We'll have a back three of Silva, Kulabali and Chalaba. I think that's the main three really. I feel like um quite solid with that defence. And uh Chalaba, weird stat, he's never lost in the Chelsea shirt, so hopefully that continues as well. And then obviously uh I think wing backs so I've put James in for sure James starts. James has been very good, um both defensively and attacking wise. He just brings a lot to the team. Um, he just has a lot of good. He's very. Uh, he's very good on the ball. He's, he's composed. He's, he brings quite a lot going forward as well. So that's always a good thing as well. Uh, and then obviously we play Kukurea. I feel like Kukurea could do a job tonight. Obviously it'll be his first Champions League game, but I feel like he's still got a lot in him to show that he can do it. I feel. Uh, Obviously, Potter could give him a chance. He knows him from his Brighton days. And, uh, yeah, of course, I feel like um, Kukurea just brings something as well. Chilwell's been good, but I just don't know. His injury kind of uh, knocked him back a little bit. He isn't quite as uh, intense or as attacking as he was once. But, obviously, he'll get there. And then, uh, yeah, midfield, I feel like we should go with a... Uh, we should go with Ruben off his cheeks. Been very good lately. Absolutely brilliant. Um, attacking and defending really. He's just done. A, he's just done a shift for us. So uh, yeah, definitely Ruben off his cheeks starts. Um, I'd go with Gallagher as well. Gallagher's been very good as well. I uh, can't fault the lad. He's done everything that we ask from him. And obviously, I'd go with uh, Kovacic as well. Kovacic just a brilliant player. Breaks up the play so well. Plays the ball, and one makes forward runs it's very very quick thinking and uh yeah that's what you need in a game like this you need people who don't dwell on the ball people who uh who are fast tempo and uh keep the game flowing really and then obviously front three i'd go for a uh front three i'd go for sterling and uh bamiang sterling has to start obviously it's been very good at chelsea so far not only just the goals but also um he hasn't always scored, but he's he's had a lot of, uh, you know, he brings something else. He brings pace to the team. He gets forward. He uh, he he links up well for some of the goals. And uh, yeah, that's always a positive. You always want a player that can uh, that can bring players into play and uh, create something. And then obviously Aubameyang just continue his goal scoring form. He's been doing well so far. He's got two and two. Um, obviously scored at home against Milan as well and um, yeah obviously he, he's a big player he's an elite striker so he deserves to actually play this game obviously because he's got a lot of experience when it comes to the Champions League and uh, on the other side I'd go for Mount because Mount has been very good lately I know usually I wouldn't put him on the right side of the uh, right side of the forward line but I feel like he's just been very very good lately so he could play right winger for this game and um yeah, I feel like hopefully that'll be enough for us to get over the line. Um, that's enough depth and enough uh, 
strength and real intensity in that team to actually get over the line and win. So I'd go with that. And my prediction for this game would be a Milan 1, Chelsea 2. So I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell on. Click the bell so you know when I'm actually on like with videos and everything. And uh, yeah, peace. Up the shelves. Come on.